Hello and welcome to the Kent Reliance Women's Cup Final of 2018 between Kent Football United and London Kent Football United. Here is the lineup for Kent Football United FC. Looking at the away team. And they get an early goal here. So the free kick comes in. Oh, and chest it down, and that was a good opportunity. First control, no good. The ball's not out yet, though. And a volleyed effort just going wide at the end. And what a start that could have been for London Kent. So it looks like it's going to be a long throw, and it is. Header forward by Stevens, and the goalkeeper's off the line. Luckily for the goalkeeper, it wasn't rolling into the back of the net. Mikowski. On to Adams. Adams with the cross, and it could be a free header instead. It's gone behind. It's actually gone for a goal kick at the end, so it looked like there was no deflection of one of the Kent Football United players. Oh, and all of a sudden, it's the ball's been given delightfully to Francis, and now on to Stevens through the legs and in. And there's your first goal of the cup final. It's Kent Football United who lead after 25 minutes, thanks to Rachel Stevens. Didn't she play that call? Cool? One and one against the goalkeeper. It's always a tough task. But here it started from the midfield. Chloe Francis was felt pretty lucky with the ball through. Sometimes you gotta take it to get that goal. And Rachel Stevens slotting it in between the goalkeeper's legs oh and all of a sudden Rachel Stevens breaks through and she could find a second uh, not this time says Cholton the goalkeeper Header forward. Still trying to keep the attack going. Oh, and Ricky Turner loses it. And it could be a chance here for one all. Oh, and just past the target again. First half. And I think really for both managers of Maria Tompkins and Paul Taylor, they'll be pretty happy with both of the team's performances, especially Maria for Kent Football United. And they could take a sec second goal here now, but it looks like the defence have got that sorted. And it looks like it's going to be a penalty. Kent Football United have the opportunity here to double the lead. And it's going to be Lizzie Waldy to take the penalty. And she scores! Well, what a start this is for Kent Football United with nine minutes to go before the half-time whistle. They are now 2-0 up against London Kent Football United. Cool as you like, just under the crossbar. The goalkeeper went the other way. And that is how you take a penalty. And it's a header in goal, and there it is! There's that first goal, it's Laura Sasata who gets the goal back for London Kent Football. Only nine minutes into the second half, it's a dream start of that comeback. And what a game we've got ourselves here now. It's a great header, it's a bullet of a header, hitting the inside crossbar. Oh, and a flick header forward in. This could be it now. Surely this time. There we go. There's the equaliser. It's been coming. Kirsty Cameron. She missed a few minutes ago. But she's got the equaliser this time. And it's back to 2 all now. And this really could be an interesting few minutes or so. 
the ball was through and this time as she did last time got the ball past the keeper but this time her shot had finally found the target and as you can see from the frustration Lizzie Adams to take. <laughs> now with Alicia Gibbs, dangerous ball in. Oh, that could have been it. Great tackle and a shot going on straight to the hands of Jordan Dawes at the end. But that could have been it. It was a vital challenge there in the penalty area. It was a great tackle. Can they do it from this? Is this the one for Kent United? Instead, it isn't the one as it goes straight into the hands of Jay Cholton. After just with moments before nearly conceding the third goal of the game for Kent United. Oh, now here's a chance here. Could this be it? No foul, says the ref. Oh, lost her balance there at the end. Rachel Moore in the ball back for Kent United. Only just for a short time. And could this be it? Oh, what a vital tackle! That was by Becky Burnham. Incredibly, incredibly. Oh, for a moment, if she hadn't got her foot to that ball, that could have been it. Incredible defending. There she is again with the clearance. And Emmy taking down her player. And there comes the volley effort. Could that be it? Oh, not at it. It is penalties. Even Keach is going to go back and put it back into the position. Oh, she's making a mark as well. She's saying that's why I want it. Don't you dare move it. And what will she get out of this one? Oh, and it's saved from the feet of Jordan Dawes. And it's going to be Becky Burnham to take the penalty. And that's how you take a penalty. Tricking the goalkeeper the wrong way. She certainly left the goalkeeper for dead there. And it's 1-0. And it's going to be Megan Mansfield for London Kent. And she scores. So a relief there for Paul Taylor. And she scores, and it looked like it was through the hands of Jay Cholton. She goes for goal, and that's probably the best penalty take out of them all so far. They're still in this, London. Doesn't save it. She was left for dead as well with that one. Right into the top corner of the net. She'll have to take it again, and that is difficult to have to take it again. She scores anyway. She'll be delighted that she got that one. For oh, and she scores this time. And I don't know what London Ken are going to think. If she misses. Oh, and she has! And they've won it! Kent United are the 2018 Kent Reliance Women's Cup winners. They had to go the full mile. And it was worth it at the end. Well done. So the 2018 Kent Reliance Women's Cup winners are Kent United.